welcome to Mystic Challenge, the show that lifts the lid on the secrets and lives of celebrity guests. The question is, how much would today's Mystic Masters be able to reveal about those guests using only their paranormal powers? Well, taking up today's challenge are medium Ronnie Buckingham and tarot card reader Chris Forster. At the moment, they can't hear anything, and as the door shut on our Mystic booth, they are unable to see anything either. And here to ensure fair play on the show, and of course, Judge the accuracy of our mystics is our jury of 12, led by their foreman, mirror columnist, Sue Carroll. Hello, Sue. Hello. So, for those who've missed the show before, what's your role in the proceedings? Well, what I actually do is um, take care of the voting, or watch what people have voted, and explain why we've voted the particular way we have. And also make sure that the guests and the mystics oh, don't course, see each make other. make sure that the, no, there is no cheating. And also whatsoever. you've got a really hard duty, because as often happens if the vote is split you've got the casting vote absolutely good luck on the show fingers eyes and legs crossed because now it's time for us to hear from our very first mystery guest my name's adrian doughty and i'm a track artist i was born in 1960 and had a happy childhood until i went to school and my education was difficult as a result of dyslexia and had special schooling from the age of 10. From the age of 14, I worked part-time in my grandfather's butcher shop. From the age of 18, I worked in a supermarket on a meat counter, and I enjoyed my job very much. I was there for 18 years. One night in 1995 in a nightclub with 200 girls, somebody joked whether I was the stripper. So I decided not to disappoint them. I took off my clothes, and that was the start of my cabaret career. I've been doing the Mrs. Doughty Fire drag act around Britain for about two and a half years, and I'm also a member of the world-famous balloon dancers, the Oddballs which is men dancing naked with balloons. I met my first love at 14. I got married at 20. Unfortunately, divorced in uh, 1990, which affected me deeply. But I have a good relationship with the children, and I see them regularly. I've been in a relationship now for 18 months, and I'm really happy. By the age of 21, I owned a house and a Jaguar car. And by the age of 25, I owned several houses and a homeless unit, which I ran. Sadly, in 96, I lost all of the houses and was declared bankrupt, but I'm presently building myself back up again. I'm currently in good health, but unfortunately have a thyroid problem for about 18 months, for which I have medication. My goals are to own my own house again, and to achieve a reasonable level of success, but at the same time keeping it within the confines of a good quality of life. Mmm, a tough one. And that mystery guest is safely tucked away in the wings, so it's time to put our mystic masters through their paces. Remember, only our jury, and of course you at home, know the identity and the other identity of our mystery guest. And our first challenger today is medium Ronnie Buckingham. Now, the only information Ronnie had to work with was 15 minutes spent holding the hand of our heavily disguised mystery guest. Not a single word was spoken. So please welcome Ronnie Buckingham. Welcome, Ronnie. Take a seat. We are going to give you 90 seconds to give us as much information as you can about our guest. What areas do you want to focus on, Ronnie? Uh, childhood, career and relationships, please. Childhood, career and relationships. relationships. And your one and a half minutes starts now. OK, I see the person of the father figure very suddenly, possibly with a heart attack. Um, he had a loving childhood, lots of support from a family. A large family, lots of sisters, possibly an only son. Brought up outside London, possibly Kent. There was a move from one area to another country to town that upset him. Um, I see a ring with a coloured stone that's quite important. He has won medals, as there's medals in the family, and something to do with shooting. Strong connections with the police and prison visits. Career. He works as two different people, and I keep seeing women's clothes here for some reading, reason. Lots of dashing about and strenuous exercise involved with his job. His name is known, but his, his, his face is known, but his name is not. Um, would know celebrities as part of his job. His hair is important. I see wavy and curly hair, but I also see a receding hairline. Lots of business interests, fingers in many pies. Works away from home, can cook and look after himself. Connections with the legal profession, ex-cons and that type of thing. Children charity work. Um, assault courses and a uniform. Um, had a rank and maybe kept well polished shoes. A shrewd person, business head over heels. His heart will sometimes rule his head. Not unkind, but don't get on the wrong side of him. 
a strong physical man, but skin conditions can be a problem to him, sometimes through shaving. Relationships. I feel he's in a relationship with daughters. The names Sydney and Alice are quite important around him. Money is important, but not the be on end all. He just wants to be secure. What is the pennies? Coin collector. Wants to gain knowledge, does crosswords. A Mercedes type car, possible of dual personality. Uh, cufflinks are very important as a gift. Um, ulcer, ulcer problems in his stomach, indigestion problems. We've got to leave it there, Ronnie. I know you're on a roll, <laughs> but that's it. That's Ronnie, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! And his cosmic challenger today is tarot card reader Chris Forster. Now, the only information our Chris had to work with was a set of cards chosen earlier today by our guest, who was in a heavy disguise, and five minutes that Chris spent staring into his crystal ball. He has not spoken to our guest. Please welcome Chris Forster. Chris! What a card. Great shirt. Now we're going to give you 90 seconds, Chris, to give us okay. as much information as you can. What areas do you want to shoot The for? areas I'd like to look at are childhood, career and relationships. Childhood, career and relationships in just 90 seconds. Away you go. I feel he suffered from some sadness in the home environment and a mother more important to him than the father where there's disappointment, a picture of him leaving. School life was a struggle, a slow learner, but found to work well with his fingers, a conflict an, around religion in the family. In career, an involvement with music and the airwaves, and use of a great sense of humor. Frequently working at night time, work takes him abroad, and will travel abroad to further the career. In the past, lost money or payments due to bad advice, but now a good group of people around putting him on the right financial road. Currently changing the way he works, bringing in new people around him, new groups, and working on his own in a more authoritative manner. In relationships, only one really, really mattered, and that ended in heartbreak. Children are not with him, which leads to sadness. A very sensitive person and prone to tears, but destroys his own relationships. Yet he puts a brave public face on the sadness around family issues. The family have Eastern European, possibly Hungarian connections, a grandfather or great-grandfather could have been a gypsy violinist. You've got a bit more time if you want to... Yes, I'd like to say... Anything you want I to re-emphasize? I want to say there was a suffering from health from the lower jaw to the ribcage, could have affected career as well through that. Interested in alternative religions, Buddhism, also astrology, the sen sen sensitive Cancerian type person here. Uneven teeth, sideburns. And that's enough, I'm afraid. You've used okay. your extra time Thank very you. well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our Chris. <laughs> and brace yourselves, because it's time now for our Mystic Masters to meet their mystery guest. Please welcome butcher turned drag queen, Adrian Doughty, Mrs. Doughty Fire. Whoa! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Ronnie, oh, Chris, dear. meet the wife. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Take a seat now. Oh, dear, what a lovely shirt you've got there, my dear. If you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> now, I know it's difficult for you, Adrian. We probably need you to speak in your normal voice. Oh, right, okay, Even fine. though you've got the fantastic <laughs> outfit on. Let's off, start then. with what they've got in common. They both mentioned, which you were very frank about in your film, problems, concerns with money. Of course, you yeah. had money, you yeah. lost money. Correct. And also, a dual nationality, although Chris veered towards Eastern Europe. What's the story yeah. there? Well, the further I can go back, it was two, two things really. One I thought of earlier on, and that is that my, my grandfather, to my knowledge, was born in Battersea. My great-grandfather worked in Battersea Power Station, so that's as far back as I go there that I physically know. It, the other stories I worry is there was apparently a, a doughty on the, uh, on, the, on the Nelson, the victory, so you never know. So you travelled a bit then? Apparently so. Right, let's go through some of the things Ronnie said. OK, we're talking about shooting. That, Rifles, is that important? absolutely brilliant, and certainly nothing that has been discussed at any time before. I was, in fact, the under 21s captain of the shooting team in this country for a number of years. And again, you know, you were completely disguised, two yeah. different personalities. He kept saying that women's clothing. Brilliant. Fantastic. I mean, what can you say? I mean, I, I was, was completely wrong, surely. <laughs> oh, no, no, okay, no, of course, that was astonishing. And then the name is not known, but the face is. Of course, well, people, I mean, I know, I've heard of Adrian Doughty, of course, very great on the comedy circuit, mm. but Mrs. Doughty Fire, the name mm. is definitely known there. Now, what's this about any uniform collection, connection? 
wearing uniforms or I military I connections? I struggled a little bit with that. I mean, the nearest I can do is obviously my sort of formative years when I started out in the business with the, uh, we used to do a lot of hen nights and obviously wear the old uh, officer and gentleman's hat. So. Right. Oh dear, stripping as an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and let's move down to Chris quite quickly. We haven't got a lot of time now. Early life a struggle, maybe a dyslexia, problems with reading? Yeah, definitely. Very bad problem with dyslexia as a child and uh, it was obviously a difficult thing. So. Now we know you, you know, music of course, but you look, you've got a great sense of humour. Very <laughs> funny man. Be very, I mean, you know, come on, a very <laughs> brave man, a very funny man. And um, one relationship that mattered, Chris said, was that true? Yeah, that was true, obviously. Nine year marriage, I was very happy in that. But um, I think I found love again, so hopefully we can uh, move on. And of course, you know, children not with you at the moment. No, I've got three Social children. Sadness. It, it is sad, but there's no problems insofar as that we all get on well and I see them regularly. But yeah, and how Chris sad. picked up straight away night work because of course you couldn't go out dressed like that during the day, well, could you? If we're being absolutely when, honest. When you offered my lift here, I said, well, I can't really walk down the <laughs> Holborn Ostrich really honest. And again, we had from Ronnie there, you know, kind of, you know, slightly receding, maybe, but curly hair. You've got both. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's Adrian Doughty. But big thanks and well done, Ronnie and Chris. So it's Sue Carroll, a big jury of women and one bloke. What's the verdict, Sue? Well, I thought that Ronnie was absolutely astounding to um, say that uh, he'd had medals for shooting when it, nobody knew that at all. And in fact, um, to guess that he'd worked with two different people, one a man and one as a woman. But we felt that Chris had um, really got to the bottom of uh, Ronnie and understood that he had one relationship that mattered. Uh, so he understood his emotional side. He also recognised the money problems. And he also understood that you'd had problems as a child with dyslexia. And for that reason, that we thought Chris was spot on. Well, well done to Ronnie, but Chris is the winner. And hey, in that dress, I wouldn't like to get to the bottom of Adrian Doughty, but he's been a great <laughs> guest. <laughs>